if if gun to my head, I had to make a decision between DC and Marvel, I would pick DC. Uh, I, I grew up reading all things DC, some things Marvel, but I kind of stuck with my DC. Um, I love the the mythology aspect of it. It's it's not believable. It's just it's fantasy. It's far fetched. Well. Marvel, as much as it can be far-fetched, it's still kind of grounded in reality. It's science fiction. It's stuff that won't happen, but could happen, I guess. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I grew up reading DC Comics, and then they switched over to the New 52, and I kind of lost it a little bit, but there's a few series out of there that I really got into. Um, yeah, I like DC. That being said, I'm not a huge Batman fan. Oh, Ooh. dropping the bombs from the start. Nice. I like that. All right, Asperger, you want to go? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, time for me to embarrass myself a little bit. I Ooh. am uh, not a DC fan, not in the sense that I dislike DC, uh, more in the sense that I don't really know DC. I've never been much into comic books uh, until Marvel came out with the MCU. Obviously, it was like super popular everywhere, so I got more interest of it. I my most of my experience with DC are the um, CW show that some of you might know. So Arrow, The Flash, and uh, DC's Legend of Tomorrow. I've watched these show when uh, a lot, N not much anymore, because I kind of uh, I don't want to say grew out of them, but I just kind of lost interest with time. But I really like Grant Gustin as The Flash. I have absolutely no idea if it's a good representation of the character. Uh, I know that the show used to be pretty good. I love Stephen Amell as Arrow. Uh, my understanding is that what they did with Arrow, they kind of did a Batman show with, with Green Arrow because uh, they didn't have the right to Batman. And uh, I absolutely love DC Legends of Tomorrow. I still watch this show religiously. It is my one of my favorite show ever. So yeah, my uh, knowledge of uh, DC is mostly about this show. I have never read one of their comic, although uh, CW, sometimes they do crossover events, and they did one last year, two years ago, about Crisis on Infinite Earths. So that's what, when I heard the story. And I've learned that DC is kind of big on having like big universe-shattering moments or uh, editions where they just reset everything constantly so it doesn't feel stale. So they will like go, if I'm not understanding, for like 10, 10, 15, 20 years, and there's going to be a big event. It's going to just reset everything and just start from scratch. And I think it happened three or four times already, so... That's my understanding of uh, DC. Uh, so as uh, Agaton said, I believe that DC is probably more mythical and I don't want to say magic, but more mythical and grandiose and Marvel would be like a bit, bit more down to earth, uh, realist or uh, more believable, less storytelling, but less mythical. Like I hope that. I didn't embarrass myself with that. No, not at all. Nope. As Very me, eloquent. Yeah, no, I like the... DC versus Marvel takes, and I feel like if we were to ever have a debate or a discussion about DC versus Marvel, that's what it would come down to, and that's what we would probably start and finish on, is the DC being more mythical, or whatever, and Marvel being, like, if superheroes were real, how would it pan out type thing. Um, but at, for that, that being said, I do like Marvel way more than DC, just because I feel like DC do misses a lot of bit, a lot more than Marvel does in what they do, and that's just my opinion. That's just like my taste. It's like ice cream. You some people don't like the same flavors of ice cream. I like this flavor of ice cream, and it happens to be called Marvel. <laughs> Anyways, um, what flavor of ice cream do you like? My favorite ice cream ever is Blue Moon ice cream, and it's really good when it has Blue Moon and cookie dough, also known as Cookie Monster, is what they call it at my one place i got it so i was like damn that's really good i love blue moon though and asparagus isn't they don't blue have... moon just vanilla with blue dye in it a lot of people say that but i think it's slightly different it's similar to vanilla I don't think i ever I'm, had it I i'm don't i'm a it. yeah i was about to say if they don't have it in canada which wouldn't surprise me because it seems like an american thing to do for some reason i don't know why but i don't do they have like scooperman in canada never heard of it yeah, see, it just seems like an American thing to do. It's the blue and Scooperman is blue moon ice cream. So, anyways, that's is a real big tangent. Uh, but um, DC for me was always just like right under Marvel, just even before I got super into Marvel. 
because when I was young, I just like, I don't know. I actually seem like I didn't compare the two and I just like superheroes and I just know that there's a difference between the two. And um, I read some comics, but it was a lot of Flash because Flash was my favorite superhero growing up and he was so cool to me. And I watched like the first season of Flash, the TV show, and maybe the second one. And then I got out of it just because I don't know. Why? What? Yeah, I, I, I lost. I, they didn't consistently update it on Netflix. And then when they did, I was just already on a different show. and never got around to it. And by the time I was going to get around to it, they released more seasons that I had to catch up on and just felt like more work. So anyways, I just never got around to it. Didn't, didn't lose interest. But um. And they're super long seasons, like 24 episodes each. So Yeah. And I'm not so all of them are good. Yeah, I've, I've seen... And now I'm really unmotivated to watch them because I've seen a lot of cringe, like, sword fights with lightning bolts and, like, just the way that they fight is looks weird to me. And so now I'm really not going to go back and watch it. But all in all, I've, wa I've read some Flashpoint comics that have, like, Batman and Flash in it. Those are the only things I scratched on. I mainly read Marvel comics, but not religiously. I had like a stint in like high school for a little bit where I started collecting a lot of Daredevil and Deadpool and then some Flash comics. So I'm not super into DC, but what my favorite DC now is definitely Batman because I like, I'm pro Batman. I don't know if what you are, Spurgus, and I know Axon is not pro Batman. Uh, truly nice. I like that. Um, <laughs> uh, but. Batman's awesome, but he seems more like a joint that's getting passed around by like different people that create DC stuff, like whether it's oh. video games, movies, whatever. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna say for now. We, I think that we definitely had an overdose of Batman in the last ten years. He's fucking everywhere. Uh, too many actors played him. Uh, so many games, and it. it well, it's kind of fitting with DC that keeps rebooting himself, but there's so many different interpretations of Batman in the last five years alone that it's getting uh, it's getting a, a little too much Batman. Mm -hmm.